Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial of Codices programming. In this video, I'm going to show you different kinds of timers in Codices and how to use them in ladder logic programming language. The first function is the pulse timer, also known as just TP. Assume we have a start button and a motor. We want to have the motor working for 10 seconds, for example, and after 10 seconds, it should be stopped. So to do this, we can use a function block in codices, which is called pulse timer. If you open ladder elements, you find these two timers, but you can see TP or in function blocks. To access this function, you can insert a box from a general and write here TP. We need to declare a variable with type TP. Or you can click here and from categories, uh, standards, timers, and select TP. We have one input with the data type boolean as the actuating pulse. We need to determine the preset time, which takes a time data type. We will also have two outputs as pulse output and uh, elapsed time. Elapsed time shows how much time has passed uh, since the TP was activated. So we have here function pulse timer. As I said, we need to determine the preset time. We want the motor to be turned off after 10 seconds. So write here T hashtag 10 S. And an output as elapsed time. I declare a variable which has type uh, time. You can see it here. In the visualization, I have associated a button with start and a pilot lamp with motor. Let's simulate our project. We see the input is false, so the output is also false, and elapsed time is zero. If I press the start button, the motor will be immediately turned on, and after 10 seconds it will be off. Here you see the elapsed time. When it reaches the preset time of 10 seconds, motor will be turned off. If you turn off the start, the elapsed time will be again zero. Let's try again. If you even turn off the start before 10 seconds, nothing uh, happens. Or if you press the start again in the middle of the time, the pulse timer doesn't care to this uh, state change. Here 
Here we can see the function diagram of the pulse timer. This function is sensitive to the rising edge of the signal. If I press the start, the output will be turned on and elapsed time uh, starts to timing. As soon as the elapsed time reaches the preset time, the output will be off. Whenever I turn off the start again, then the elapsed time uh, will be zero. Here even uh, if I turn off the input, the elapsed time will still count. Input is turned on and off two times, but uh, nothing happens. The next timer in codices is timer on delay or TON. You can find this timer in function blocks. Drag and drop it to insert the timer in the programming environment. If you press the enter, the declaration window will appear and we need to declare a variable type TON. Like TP, we have also for this timer an input for starting the timer with type boolean. The preset time, I define it 10 seconds. An elapsed time which can be a variable with data type uh, time. Let's insert another pilot lamp for the output of this timer. As a variable, we can use the sub-variables here, which belongs to the timer. Q is uh, for output. Now if I run the program, input is false and output is also false. As soon as I press the start, the elapsed time starts to count and uh, 10 seconds after that, the output of the timer will be activated. Whenever I change the state of the input to false or zero, the output of the timer will be turned off. So the output uh, turns on after a delay when we change the inputs from false to true. But what would happen if we turn off the input before uh, 10 seconds? Well, as soon as we turn off the input on an uh, undelay timer, the elapsed time will be reset immediately and output will be never activated. Here you can see the function diagram of this uh, timer. When the input is activated after the preset time, the output will be true. If before the preset value the input is turned off, the output will remain zero. Okay, let's talk about the last timer of delay timer or just TOF. This timer turns off uh, the output after a delay. I insert it from the function blocks to the programming environment. Like other uh, timers, we need to declare a variable for the timer. Data type TOF. Input is again our start button. The preset time let's uh, determine again 10 seconds. It's the delay time. And the variable for uh, elapsed time which has a data type uh, time.
In the visualization, I associate the output with another pilot clamp. Let's save it and uh, simulate this timer to see how it works. As you can see, as far as the input is not pressed, the output is also off. If I press the input, the output of the timer will be immediately true. Whenever input is false again, the output will remain turned on. But elapsed time starts to count and uh, after 10 seconds, output will be turned off. Let's try again. Turn on and then turn off the input. But this time, uh, before elapsed time, so before 10 seconds, I'm gonna turn on the input again. As you can see, the elapsed time has been uh, reset to uh, zero again. And here you see the function diagram. As soon as you turn on the input, the output will be turned on. The elapsed time only starts to count uh, when I turn off the input. When the elapsed time reaches the preset time, the output will be turned off. If you turn on and off again the input and before the elapsed time reaches the preset time, the elapsed time will be reset again. Here you can compare these uh, three timers in codices. Okay, that was all about timers in codices. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to write a comment below.